Alright, so welcome back to Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City Alpha Test. Last time I left off, I think I was trying to defrost this room. And I couldn't because that was frozen. Okay. So, what do? Low temperature laboratory and this room is the culture room. I suppose I'll come back here later because it doesn't look like I can do anything in here. So in between the last part and this one, I did look online to check out playing manual one because I did notice that I didn't get that in the first scenario. And from doing so, I found out that you can reload your weapon by just pressing L1, which I probably, yeah, I don't need to do now. But you also quick turn by pressing down and cancel. I was trying everything. I tried the dead aim method of pressing down twice to just quick turn. I tried to press the opposite direction to quick turn along with cancel and it wasn't working, but it turns out it's just down. Fingerprint security device needs to register my fingerprint somewhere. Okay, so... I guess that just leaves... Oh, of course, that other door. Alright, let's go through there then. I don't know this for sure, but I suspect this game is going to be going through a lot of areas that we've already played in the original Resident Evil games. Because this is absolutely Resident Evil 2. And I do know that in the Hellfire scenario, which I'm pretty sure is in this game, I think that might be an original area. And File 2 does the same thing where there's a few original areas, but some of them are the same locations that previous games have taken place in. I don't know for sure. But I am definitely curious to check it out. Oh, hello. I guess I can't do much with that. Okay. Hello. Hey, There's you. a big scratch-like indent. That's always a good sign. An elevator. It doesn't seem to be working. Is anything working in this entire facility? Whoa, movement controls are fucking me up a little bit here. Hang on. Wait. Go that direction. That's better. I saw a glint. Gimme. Turntable key. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Also, yep, L1 is indeed the reload button. Great. Control panel for the turntable. Well, you should probably use the key. Oh, it's frozen. Never mind, plan ruined. I must move the turntable first. No, I want to explore the interior. Well, I suppose what I'll probably do is just place the key back down here. That way at least I've got a handgun on me. Might be some more hostile things down here. So what does that mean that I can really do right now? I don't really... Yeah, I can't think of any way that I can go to defrost the room. Was there a security system somewhere? Or do I have to do it in the main shaft? I don't know, I guess I could just X my way through a lot of things and... Oh, a valve handle. Well, that's probably it then. Alright, so where do you go? Do I want to check? Oh, it's probably the low temperature laboratory. Yeah, let's go there first. That's most likely where I have to go. I did spot the glint there, but I assumed it was just some item, like a healing item or some ammo, that I wouldn't be needing right now. Okay, so electronically locked, yep. I was thinking there might be something on the wall that the camera can't quite see, but that would be a little bit mean. Even by Resident Evil standards. Okay, so... Look for... Something like this? I've checked the stack of paper already, I don't need to read through it again. I think that might have been a special item. 
Large machine gone haywire. Yeah, I don't see any obvious valve receptacle type thing. So I'll go back outside and check that red path. There's only so many places I can think of to go before my ideas start to dry up. I guess, yeah, West Area Passage is probably the next place I think to go. I'm keeping an eye out for that red square that indicated a receptacle. So far I've come up with nothing. Although I wasn't looking before, I didn't realize I needed the valve handle. Didn't know there was a valve handle here. I do have to say, it's kind of a bummer that these are small mini-scenarios that you just go through that take about an hour each instead of it just being one long linear game. Hasn't been sitting as well as the other Resident Evil games have been with me for that reason. But I can still live with it. Not too much of a problem. Actually, now that I think about it, do I need the valve handle anymore? Because I kind of just started carrying it around. Yeah, this is as high as the ladder goes. So where, where can I go from here? I have to defrost that room, but I don't see any obvious way to do that. Well, I don't have to defrost the room, I have to defrost the entire floor. No doubt these hunters are going to come to life. Okay, uh, control panels operate the shutter, I don't need to use this, yep. Oh my god, I'm, I'm holding down, I swear I'm still holding it and he's going up and to the right. Okay, go, go down. Towards the camera, that's a good, whatever my character's name is, George I think. Controls are not as good as Final Fantasy X. Just throwing that out there. I hear a moth flying around, so... I guess maybe I have to kill that? I don't know. And that was a handgun. So... Yeah, this just goes to the turntable. Surely it would be the low-temperature laboratory. That's the only place I can think of that I might need to go. You dare mock me, moth. Holy fuck. Ow. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm poisoned. Yeah, it's not a surprise. Ah! Well, this might have been a bad idea. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Can I die from the poison outright? Yes, looks like I can. Uh, please help. Alyssa, I need to be revived because I'm dumb and took on a moth with a shotgun. Come on. Revive me. Thank you. Uh, you can deal with that, can't you? Ag okay. This is a fight. I cannot win. Unless... You can't up. <laughs> Maybe I should just stop doing that. No. I clearly can't be trusted with shotguns around moths. Uh, what do? Heals my wounds completely, but... What if I combine it? Okay, well, it doesn't do anything with the kit. Note because on the ground, will you read it now? Custodian's Diary. I had such a shitty day today, I accidentally lost the turntable key that Rick and Admin gave me. I'm sure I look like absolute crap. If management finds out I lost the key, getting fired will be the least of my worries. 
There's even a room of screw-ups could even be used as bait for some creepy test subject the company is working on. Oh, of course. Thank God, Roy from security found the key in the bathroom and brought it to the admin. Although I found out about this through my boss who looks like he's about ready to chew me a new one. Man, I haven't been ripped such a big one since I was a snot-nosed brat in junior high school. Shesh. Like it even fucking matters. Profanity in a Resident Evil game. You can't do anything with the key if you don't know how... If you don't know how the code in the first place, that's almost what I said. If you don't know the code in the first place. Oh. Man, when I quit this company, I'm going to get... Use that key. I just conjured get out of nowhere. And the code and make those elevators my own personal private ride. Even I wouldn't forget a code as easy to remember as the word hope. Uh-huh. Yep, my own personal elevator. Kind of like the sound of that. So this whole time I just had to go down to the thing and use the word hope on the thing. God damn it. So that means I have to go back to the duct, and I'm sick of walking really slowly. Goddamn. I'll take a quick pit stop over to that turntable as well, so I can grab the blue herb. Because of course now I need it. Oi! Camper! Oh. Hang on. Wait, wait a second. Whoa. Help me, please. Uh, anyway, wrong button. Still poisoned? Okay. Looks about right. Uh, let's go... Not this way. The green way. Hooray, we made it, kinda. Okay, so that was a handgun. I, feel sick. I shouldn't have trusted the map. This was a mistake. Lab, ca lab card key. Motherfucker. There was just a lab card key there this whole time. Yeah, great. And what was this? Turntable key. Okay, don't need that yet. Well, at least I found the thing that I needed, but I kinda wish I didn't take on that moth now. Thought I might have needed to. Where was that computer that I could put the passcode into? That was B6F, wasn't it? I can't remember, but I'm going to have to go through the ducts regardless. I'll take cover in here first, check the map. What was this? Handgun SG, okay. And the duct was... This way, I think. Yes. Make sure the shotgun's fully reloaded before I go out. Wait. Okay, he just reloaded one shell. Looks like I have to hold down L1 to reload fully. Good to know. This way. Pay no attention to the Frozen Hunter. I'm sure it'll be fine. Couldn't just kick it over and shatter it. Sub-Zero wins. Follow me, Alyssa. You'll probably be fine. I've been poisoned, you oh, hey, fancy meeting you here. Where have you been? Well then. I've been poisoned, you idiot. Stop calling me names. Well, she's just mean. Keeps reminding me she's been poisoned over and over and over. Just grab the serum. Idiot. I've been poisoned, you idiot. I know, shut up. I've been poisoned, you idiot. <laughs> oh, we're about to have words if she kept on doing that. Why do you keep showing up out of nowhere? Fuck off. Every time I go through this door, it's the same zombie who just attacks me from the back somehow. So, back through here. Okay. I'll grab the item down here first, because I don't remember what that was. According to my map, it's a healing item. My map is correct. Great. That's 
Yellow caution. Okay, I can live with that. Sort of. Apparently someone's joining me in here. Thought I heard a second automatic door opening. Oh, two zombies. Just... <laughs> well, I didn't want to feed myself to the zombies. I wanted to shoot them, but I was a bit too slow on the draw. Did you like that shot, by the way? I did. Recovery medicine. Yes, I need that now. Back up to yellow caution. Just the way it's supposed to be. I will use the passcode. The passcode will be... A lot of button presses. The H, yes. My thumb hurts already. Due to an emergency, passcode lock is in effect. Did you fucking... I'm not sure warning messages. What? Eh. Alright, what was that other passcode that I saw earlier? Uh, that's not... I want the map. I think it was interoffice memo? No. There was one that had two passcodes in it. Monthly passcode? Yes. That looks like G582 for the B5F computer room. So if I go this one. Alright. Go through this to G. Five, eight, two. Incorrect passcode. Am I just reading that wrong? Monthly passcode. No, that looks right. Maybe the door's open already? I guess? I don't know! Alright, let's go down one floor. Actually, hang on. Area B passage. How do I get to there? I don't remember, it's been too long. Probably... Down the ladder and through the vents, I think. Which will be, yep, still on the right track. If I come back through that door and that same zombie attacks me... Ooh. Not gonna be happy. Alright, see ya. <laughs> Guy just leaves me alone. Split up, gang. You guys take the upper floors. Daphne and me will take this floor. Might be a little bit touchy to make Scooby-Doo references and jokes after Velma came out. Go what a piece of shit that show is. Oh good, the very brightly lit corridors, my favorite. I also just completely skipped a floor. So I've definitely taken a wrong turn somewhere. Okay, well at least I can check what's in this room. Maybe an antidote or something? Or a herb that I can make into some kind of recovery item? That'd be great. I didn't even think about the card key. Oh. Lockdown's still going off here apparently. So, can I do something in this room? Probably not. Ivy stretching, it stopped malfunction warnings displayed, yeah. Yeah, I have no idea what to do with the card key either. I also just spotted a herb. Give me that. Red herb. What if I combine you with my kit? Stops bleeding. Okay, should have figured. Uh, yeah, let's just go.
bleeding is one of the most annoying status effects I've ever had in the entire franchise. I think in RE2 Remake, the coughing is probably about on par for just how much having it pisses me off. In that game, if you got poisoned, your character would actually stop for a second to cough every few seconds. It was so fucking annoying. I did it again. I just fired way too late. I'm used to the original 2005 RE4, where Leon was actually responsive and not stupid. What's down this way? Weapons and other. What kind of other would be down here? And why are the heartbeats getting more intense? That's weird. Okay, I've seen the sketch already, you already have it, yep. All done there, I suppose. Do I have to do something with this computer? There is DNA model, another special item. Cool, managed to miss that. Yep. Large capsule filled with some kind of liquid. Someone's getting smacked around. I don't particularly care. B7F, and that would take me up to there. Eh, uh, damn it. So what's going on? He'll be fine. In case you're curious as well, I do have to do things like press X to get off of ladders. I don't just automatically dismount at the top. Which is fine, it's just worth pointing out. So, where the fuck do I go? What do I do? Please send help. I'm lost. Mother, please pick me up. I'm lost. I already did the hope thing, but it said that something was still in effect. I'll do it again just so I can get the message back. Passcode lock is in effect. Okay, so I've got to find some kind of way to disengage this passcode lock, which I'm probably betting is going to be done in that frozen room. I'm kind of stumped here, guys. I've got the lab keycard, but I don't know what I can use it on. It doesn't automatically use key items anymore, and with me being a 96% virus gauge, I'm thinking I should probably just quit this and start again. Probably not my worst idea. Exit just brings me back to that, yeah. Alright. Will you quit the game and return to the main menu? Your game will be over? Yes, I will. It's weird to me that it gives you a you died screen when you quit the game voluntarily. The only other game that I know that does that is Donkey Kong 64 and I've not even played it. But anyway. I don't really want to override that data. I'd much rather continue where I left off. So if I load that, where's that going to put me? Because logically, it should put me in the same spot. And I initially said that I don't think you can reload a save game because it just deletes it as soon as you load it. But apparently that's not the case. I thought this was a permadeath type thing. No, I'm back here. Okay, well that's good to know. So, I can't stop the device because it's frozen. Nope, stop trying. Machines create a roaring noise. Yep. Okay, so I probably have to go back for that keycard and just figure out where it goes. I've checked the stack of paper. I didn't even see that. I was just mashing X. Broken shotgun. Can I do anything with that? Broken, it seems to be fixable. Well, I mean... I have a shotgun already. So, I suppose I'll just leave that there? Finding stuff like that makes me think I should just be running around pressing X on more things. 
Which is not how a Resident Evil game really should be designed. It's pretty stupid if you just have to chance your way into everything. That's what the glint is supposed to be there for. You're supposed to just see that and be like, oh, that's an important item among all this other clutter. And that points you towards it. And I'm not going to shoot the moth this time. As much as I kind of want to, I'm not going to. I'm not a complete monster, I swear. Do I have to use the lab card key on the laboratory? Oh yeah, that probably would make sense. Because then I could punch in the password for hope. God damn it. Okay. I uh, don't think I'm gonna need the blah. Uh. No. Sit back down. Get shoved around a little bit by Alyssa as well. You got this, I believe in you. See? Just needed a bit of shotgun backup. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna combine the blue herb with this. He has a small amount of wounds, that's fine. Am I... Okay, you probably... Yeah, actually, um, Alyssa can take this. And in return, I would like... Oh, okay, well... Uh, this is still fine. Just gonna grab that. Done. So, the laboratory. That was... Oh. Marshalling yard, apparently. Laboratory was right about there. B7F. Okay. None of these doors are accessible? Alright, let's begin the big backtrack. I can hear him flapping around and I so want to shoot it. But I mustn't. That would be very rude. Come on. Java. Bet nobody misses those days. Never. <laughs> She saved that through that loading screen. Admirable. What a trooper. So that leaves my next... Okay. So I've got to go, I think, down a floor? Or was it two? Might have been two. Is Alyssa even armed? Oh yeah, she does have a handgun. But she's got 45 auto around, so I don't know how much longer she'll last with that. If you just shove them into the gun really, really hard, it might take them. Just has a little bit of give to it. Don't try that in real life. I guess I'm not really one to talk about gun safety because my government doesn't even trust me with a sharp crayon, so... Do what you like, I suppose. Uh, hello, good sir. Are you a zombie? You probably are. This is where I was trying to get to earlier. And the computer room, which was locked. So, shadow is down. I wonder what happened here. Is there any kind of panel that I can use? No. So... Let's go to that one. Try that first. Sorry guys, I know this is really boring. I'll be cutting a lot of this out, I'm sure. But this is a lot of loading screens and a lot of running around to find things. I'm not very fond of it either. But there's really no way around it. Dolok security panel? No, not yet. I want to use this first. 
it doesn't work. Okay. So, hi, do you mind? I'm trying to figure out where the lab card key goes with the lab just above me. Or is it below me? No, it's below me, isn't it? By the time I get to the end of this scenario, that G adult will have had time to raise its own G family. Okay, well... I may just check a guide to see what I have to do next, because I'm stumped. I have the lab card key, but I can't think of anywhere where it would go, so... Bear with me for a second here. Oh, it unlocks the door to the B5F computer room. Okay. I never would have guessed that. Okay. So that means I have to go down one and then through the duct again. Okay, I can do that. Down one or up one? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it's up one. I was wondering why that password wasn't working. Like, why would they give me a password for it if I have to use something else to unlock it? I guess I should have expected it considering the insane troll logic puzzles in this franchise, but I still didn't. God, I'm gonna be editing so much of this shit out. No, this way. To where I'm going. Doesn't matter how much you try with some people, they just don't want to work with you. So now let's go through this vent again, except on purpose. B5F emergency passage. This is an emergency. I had to look up a guide to get through a Resident Evil game. Totally counts. Have you just been here this whole time, Jim? You have, haven't you? Fucking slacker. I was holding backwards there for a second too, to try to cancel going into the vent, but I guess I'm just committed at that point. Could use the lab card key to open the shutters, but no. Ah, uh, yeah, it does say laboratory in gigantic letters right there, so... Probably just wants you to go... Uh, uh. Getting that wonky control thing again. Not as bad as it was before. Oh yeah, there was a card reader here. Okay. I should have remembered that. Let's just use this. And let me in. All of a sudden, moths fucking everywhere. I'm ready for it. Oh. Handgun rounds are good. Did you take my hand? Okay, good. I was about to say. I nearly got the big mad. But you're fine. Just this once. A huge cocoon. Yep, no kidding. I saw a blue herb there as well. I'll keep this on me just in case. A passcode terminal. Will you enter a code? You've registered the passcode and your fingerprint. Uh... So... Oh! I didn't even notice the green herb there. What about... Okay, never mind. I thought I saw something just at my feet as I was about to exit, but there's nothing there. So that means I go back to that other room that needed the fingerprint now? Or well, the security room first. I don't know! Not right in front of me, I need to take a but 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 of Hang on. Yeah, you have to reset and then move down screen again every time the camera changes there. It's a lot of fun. What the fuck happened there? Oh. This ain't gonna be good. Ah.
It didn't even actually attack me, it just kind of swooped in and cut away. So... Oh. <laughs> shoo, shoo. What the fuck was that? I just got put back in the same room I just left. Cool, thanks for that. I guess I'll just go all the way back through. I didn't get that cutscene this time, so was that seriously just a one-off thing that takes me back to the computer room? Amazing. So they put a cutscene in there that just wastes your time. I love it. Maybe I was supposed to destroy that big cocoon first, but how the fuck was I supposed to figure that out? Right, what can I do with this now? Scan your fingerprint, yes. Guest registration confirmed, now releasing the lock. Okay, let me in. Let me progress with this bastard scenario. It won't be this long for you, but I've been recording for over 45 minutes now. Well, this looks inviting. Yellow chemical bottle. Oh, I'm poisoned? What? Stupid thing. I suppose I'll take it, better than nothing. It contains a yellow chemical. Yeah, I have no idea what- Oh, oh, okay. Dude, fucking hell. I did see that you could throw bottles. A creepy experimental object is floating in the capsule. It looks as if it is about to move. Oh god, kill it. Before it lays eggs. There's one broken capsule. The blood is fairly fresh. Great, that's encouraging. Gray chemical bottle? Nah, I've already got my yellow chemical bottle. And a blowtorch. A blowtorch. What? Can I do anything with... Oh, well, great. The lab card key? There's a capsule that has been torn apart. Can I really? Okay, sure. I suppose I'll just go. Nothing to say about that open cabinet thing. Cabinet? Case. I can't say that I'm very fond of this scenario overall. I'm sure you can guess why. There's just so much backtracking and screwing around that you have to do. At the very least, I think the blowtorch probably goes in this room. And that's how you lower the temperature and no doubt release all the hunters and make more progress. But there's been a noticeable amount more of it in this scenario compared to the previous one. A much preferred outbreak. I'm still looking forward to Hellfire, don't get me wrong. And I do want to complete the game. My motivation remains intact. Hello my good man, could you... move? I... I shouldn't be surprised that that worked, but I still am. He even pulled it for me. What a nice guy. It is working correctly. Sure enough, it actually is. I'm going to drop a save here, but I'll keep going for a little bit longer. I was going for a little while, but I didn't make as much progress as I'd like to in a single video, so I'll see how much longer I can keep going for. And now I spot the broken shotgun on the floor there. No idea what I'm supposed to do with that. But it seems a bit redundant unless it's fully loaded. Alright, Hunters, where are you? Ugh. Hello! I thought you were dead from that. Which was implied by the fact that my virus gauge disappeared. That's not a good sign. Blowtorch has plenty of fuel left. Okay, so I assume that I should probably hold on to this then. A notebook is on the ground, will you read it now? Yep, Custodian's Diary, got that one earlier. Uh, what do? So if I've got that done... Oh, that means what? What's happening? Turntable. Was about to say that.
Okay, Thomas the Tank Engine is fully operational. I do want to go back for that handgun that I left behind earlier. But that might be a lot more backtracking. What's in the B4F culture room? Two weapons, apparently. Oh! Oh. Hi, Jim. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Oh, no, that's a culture room that I was just in. Mm. And that was a broken shotgun and something else I can't remember. Oh. Almost. No, you... you did the, but... Gotta encourage him a little bit. Ah, the main shaft is nice and normal temperatures again. Hello, Hunter. Uh, that's probably not my main concern. Hi, you just... Alright. He <laughs> just sits there. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, you have a metallic blade thing for an arm. That's fucking horrifying. Please don't. Bye, guys. You can take him. I believe in you. So with no ammo and 20 handgun bullets, but no handgun. Do you think we can survive this? Gonna go with no. I might just end up taking Alyssa's handgun, too. Assuming the hunters can follow us. Fuck. Was about to say something about that. Probably shouldn't have. Turntable key. Use the goddamn thing. Oh, come on. That's okay, as long as my teammates can hold off the hunter for a little while longer. Hey, Jim. Be a bro. Thanks. 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 Fucking hell. Just a bit longer. Oh, I didn't actually get the damn thing. I need to operate it now. Okay, so could I have done it from either side? That's unusual. Can I have your gun now? Thank you. I'm glad that was you and not me. I'm very familiar with that hunter sound effect. Okay, good, he's dead. So, um, are you okay? That researcher's body, what happened to her? You probably want to put several bullets through her chest. But I don't have that option. Low torch. Oh, I thought that was a first aid spray. Never mind, I guess my fun's ruined. Was it this dramatic in RE2? I don't think it was. So it was just- oh, hi. It was just you moved the turntable and immediately just started going. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, uh, well, I guess you're just doomed now. Good luck. No, don't come towards me. Uh, I cannot go up to save my life. I'm just going to camp up here. I'll probably be fine. They'll be too distracted by everybody else to pay attention to me. They won't notice that I'm out of bullets either.
I can't really do much else to amuse myself here, so I just do a bit of a dance. Yeah, go up, like right now. I had a strong suspicion that the G that spawned from her would somehow follow us, but I wasn't expecting it to just start jumping up the elevator shaft. The elevator went up first, and then... yeah. Stay tuned for Resident Evil Covenant, I guess? I couldn't do anything that whole time, I was just frozen. Watching a five second scene of the train thing going up. Train? What's it called? Tram car, that's it. There's no time for that. Yes, there is. Oh. You are one ugly motherfucker. I uh, sure hope I can kill you with strong language because I don't have any ammo. You guys gonna be okay taking this thing on? Cause I don't really, I can't do much. There's a first aid spray here, two first aid sprays here. <laughs> Neither of which are really useful to me right now. Okay, handgun rounds, great, that's what I need. Shame there's no handgun magazine, but that's okay, I can live without it. Oh, shotgun rounds, didn't even, okay. Uh, this will do for now. Ah, oh, crap. I'm trying to shoot the little shit before they get close, but it's a little tricky to do. Not particularly responsive. Okay, shotgun, um... Oh, I've got the broken shotgun? Fuck. And Jim is dead. Fuck. How did that happen? God damn it. Alright, well, it looks like it's you and me now, buddy. May as well swap out my broken shotgun with a first aid spray. If I can get the right angle. Holy shit. I was so sure I pressed cancel on that prompt. Just examined the broken shotgun and walked away. God damn it. Well, if I can beat this, then I'm still fine. Yes, I'm shooting your mother. What of it? Got some eternal darkness reloading happening here. I sure hope you don't have a weak point. Ah, oh, jerked. Oh, hang on. No. Do I not? Oh. Yeah, of course shotgun shells are pointless. <laughs> I think I'm screwed. Two shotguns that I spotted, or am I just nuts? Yeah, I think I might be nuts. 
Fuck. I was doing so well, too. Tightly shut, of course it is. What's this? Piece of the elevator. Yep. I'm mashing X on everything. I don't really think I have any options here. I may end up just tackling this boss to death. It might be my only choice. Ow! <laughs> Jod, bitch! Oh, fuck. Ow! Don't you get stun locked? Okay. Hiya! No, it doesn't look like that's doing anything. I think I got hit by the backswing of that. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna. Oh, I got me on the backswing again. Come on, get up. You can do more. It's dangerous here. It sure is. Hey, uh, hey, Jim. Do you have a shotgun? <laughs> Intact, fully operational. Gonna guess no. Okay, well, you can't say I didn't put up a fight. God damn it. <laughs> I still got more fight left in me. Somehow. I swear I'm trying to quick turn, it's just not playing ball. Neither's my head. I'm trying not to play ball with that either. I was in danger and I just tanked that to the face. Not a single... Okay, well. I might give a shit about that. That might hurt. There we go. Can you just put me out of my misery already? Please? That's better. I'm definitely reloading this save. I may have to go back and make sure that I actually have the shotgun this time. Instead of the broken one. That might be a bit of a given. Is there a dying status? No, it just says danger. Well, Jim, it's been fun. Blech. That is a pretty big oopsie. One of the biggest oopsies I've had in all of Resident Evil in a very long time. I don't want to save that. Okay, we're back here again. So, do I have... Okay, I have an actual working shotgun. And this is the broken shotgun. The press circle. Yes. Okay. Shotgun's intact. Good. And no, I'm not going to find out what happens if you just let the turntable thing leave without you. Maybe if I feel like screwing around and making a short extra video, I might do it. Jim, you really want to be here right now. I think he might have just straight up missed the turntable. If he did, I'm going to be mad. I need as many meat shields, I mean extra guns in this fight as I can get. Did he just straight up not even join us? Ah, uh, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? What's this? I have a 15 second countdown until a turntable gets here. What if I just fucked around in the other room for a while? That sounds like a good idea. At least this time I've got an intact shotgun. But I'm down an ally. Granted that ally had, what, an iron pipe? But still, at least I can fight in mano a mano or something. I'll take the first aid spray. In fact, I'll probably use that now. 
That takes care of the virus gauge. Shotgun rounds, yep. And handgun rounds, there. Okay. Now, as for you, a uh, shotgun, and I think I'll start with this. He doesn't seem to have a very good swing radius, so if I just go... If I go the correct side, not that side, that wasn't the way to go. If I go this side, goddammit, faster... <laughs> then I can probably get around him. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. It's also going to be a case of managing those little shits around him as well. But I'd like to make sure I don't have any distractions, so could you fuck off? Okay. Ah, god, fuck. Okay, well, I'll just have three of them on me at once. I'm a dad now. I'm in caution. How do I get these little fuckers off? Oh, no. Damn it. Don't you backswing me. Eh. They just straight up smacked me in the head. I cannot get out of here. Send help. Send more competent teammates. I'm not going to be able to crawl my way to the first aid spray. Unless this nice man gives me a push. I'd appreciate that. I'll look at this little guy go. Even humping my leg as I try to crawl to my safety. <laughs> oh good! Just what I wanted! There's two zombies and a hunter following me in a conga line. You can't make this shit up. Okay, shotgun. I have the broken shotgun again. God fucking damn it. I didn't even examine the shotgun. Alright, well, I guess we are going to find out what happens if you miss the turntable. Now grab this. What? How does this happen? So where did I drop the shotgun? It must have been on the turntable when I picked up the key. Well, at least it only takes me a minute to get back there, but... I'm pretty sure I didn't throw my shotgun away. Yeah, take the broken shot- you fuckwit. I've already got a broken shotgun, and even if I didn't, it's a broken shotgun. It's either this game or my brain that's falling apart at the seams. One or the other. It could be both. But I want to at least give my brain the benefit of the doubt. Hello, get out of my goddamn way. Notebooks on the ground. Don't really have time, but sure. Alright, so where the fuck? Oh my god. Controls. Yes. So, that's that's the blowtorch. What the fuck happened to my shotgun? Was this game finished before they released it? Uh, get off, Batman. Eh. That's all I can do. Alright, fuck it. I'm curious. I want to see what happens if the turntable leaves without you. Apparently the game just ate my shotgun and won't give it back. Unless I can find it somehow. Maybe it just hasn't disappeared into the ether. Surely
surely it's not going to give me a you died screen because I missed the time limit. Would it? Who am I kidding? It absolutely would. Yep. <laughs> so he's like, fuck, I missed my bus. And then all of a sudden, surprise hunter. <laughs> That's pretty great. Ah, beautiful. All right. View event checklist. What nonsense is going to be at the bottom of this? Watched missed turntable. Beautiful. I love it. I'm saving. I'm absolutely saving that. That's one for the history books. <laughs> Uh. Don't worry, Jim. No matter how shit your life is, I guarantee you currently mine's worse. Bye, Alyssa. Um, you truly fought until the very end or something. Hunter looks like he's stuck too, so I'm just gonna exploit the shit out of this, I suppose. Jim, we got 30 seconds left. Last warning. Final check, man. Get your boarding pass ready. Don't distract the hunter. Whatever you do. We better not take the hunter with us into the final boss fight. The last thing that thing needs is ads. Jim, 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 Jim. Making me nervous, Jim. If you left the fucking room, Jim. I'm gonna be mad at you. The th no, dickhead, don't do that. Okay. Your loss if you missed it. I tried everything I could, including furiously mashing down on the right stick. That was the extent of what I could do, really. Oh, good, he did manage to make it with me. I was thinking that any character who wanted to actually take the turntable up would have to be on the platform. It looked like he was a bit off of it. So I didn't think he would be coming with us as soon as it went up. But maybe you just have to be in the room to be counted for it. Whatever the case, we're back here now. And I'm not in complete shit condition. I hope. I haven't checked my shotgun in a while. It might be the broken one again. No, nope, it's just unloaded. Good. Okay, now give me- no, you can actually take that, Jim. You probably want to grab it. Shotgun rounds, no worries there, and handgun rounds. Alright, let's get started. Let's shoot the actual boss. Just hammer on the shoot button. There's no strategy here. Ha! Psyched you out. Quickly shoot that. Good. If Jim can at least be the meat shield and divert its attacks, acting as a distraction, that's all I really need. Looks like he might be in danger status though. Shit. Oh, did I get him? No, nope, missed. Damn it. Fuck. I got you. Just duck under this swipe. I'm sure it's fine. Ow. Six bullets left in the pistol. No. Nope. 
All right, good. One of these little shits down. Two down. I think Jim is straight up dead. Yep. Uh, three bullets left. I can make this work. Twelve shotgun shells. Would that be enough? Gonna go with no. Actually, before I do that, let's grab the other first aid spray first. Don't want to be as reckless as I was the first time when I got here through a miracle. Oh, that's a triple swipe. Okay, I thought it was just a double. Maybe I can bait his attacks out and just run away? Maybe? Certainly worth a try, considering the situation I've just put myself in. Alright, triple swipe. One shot. Ooh, good. Uh, thought he was going to attack. Luckily I got away with it. Let's go back here and reload. Oh, not the direction that I wanted to turn. best not to shoot up, because that might just go over his head entirely. Ugh. How you doing? Let's aim the correct direction. Eep. I think I just had a third sweat. Ouch. How's my health doing? Still fine? It's music though. Get psyched. Nope, I am out of ammo. Well. Been fun. But I'm starting to think that I've saved myself into a corner. <sighs> what? I... The fuck? DNA and believing we know everything. And so the world starts to collapse from within. You know the thing that I do where I just run around and press X on things and it usually works out? That was another case of that. I had no idea you could do that. That... Wow. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you can because it completely saved me from having to replay this entire scenario all over again. But I'm still mad. New item in the gallery. New item in the movie. Sound. You can now select the hive scenario. Well, I'm going to do that next time because I've been playing this for... Over an hour and a half which is going to be cut down massively for you.
A hospital transformed into some kind of hive full of squirming things. We pushed on and pushed the repulsive image from our minds. Great. I can't wait to struggle through the end of that as well, but for now, I'm calling it an episode. This has gone on for way longer than I expected it to, and I'm gonna need a bit of a breather before I take on this next level. So far, this game has been... pretty challenging. And if it wasn't for that tram thing, I would've just been screwed. It makes me think there's gonna be some other gimmicky stuff like that later in the game. I hope not. Because I much prefer the straight-up fights in Resident Evil games. So next time I'll enter the third scenario, The Hive. Catch you all then.